Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lacquer. They came with 10 shades and is running for $11.99 and essentially it's supposed to be like a smudge proof, transfer proof, long lasting, super pigmented, literally with one swipe type of lip color or lip lacquer. <laughs> and basically it's just supposed to be giving us a high shine as well. On the website it does give us directions on how to essentially apply this on directly. It talks about you're supposed to shake the little bottle for five seconds and then go on and apply on this lip color on a clean lip allow it to dry it down and that is basically it girl so I'm really excited to test these out I picked up five different lip shades we're gonna be trying on together and we're gonna test out the pigmentation the consistency does it dry down lips does it have a weird scent what is the whole situation when it comes to these lip lacquers so I hope you guys enjoy everything will be listed down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and let's dive on in and try them on so the first lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on, this one is called Cheeky. And on their website, it doesn't have a description of the lip shade, so I'm gonna do my best for today's video and describe the lip shades to you guys, which I'm not the best at, but I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> and essentially, I would describe this as a rose nude lip shade. It is so pretty. I feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip shade. I love the undertone that it has. And as for the consistency and the formula, it feels really lightweight. It feels hydrating on so, uh, swatching the back of my hand. It does take a moment for it to dry down. It has kind of, I wouldn't say the high shine, like glossy consistency, but it does have like a little shine to it once it dries down after you've applied it on. So far, so on the back of my hand, it doesn't look patchy or streaky or anything like that, but I'll let you guys know once I apply it on my lips and get a feel for it for myself. The packaging, I actually really like it. Um, I love the fact that it matches the color that you're picking up. This makes it so much easier for the consumer to buy a lip color knowing what it's gonna look like, just because a lot of them are closed, sealed, you can't really open them to get a feel for what it actually looks like inside. So this is perfect. To be honest, it kind of gives me like mascara packaging vibes. I'm not really sure why. It is a little thick and chunky, so that's the only thing. So it's going to be hard to like put it in your back pocket in your jeans or something like that, but or maybe put it in a small clutch. So that is the only downside of them thinking so far. It does have a Joe Foot applicator. It has kind of like an oval point tip to it. I personally like it. You can use it to essentially line your lips. There is a scent to it as well. It has a soft vanilla scent. I don't find it to be strong and overpowering. So I'm going to quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on Cheeky, which by the way, I will have the lip combo listed in the description box. On their website, it mentions directions on how to apply this on and it's basically basically said to shake the lip lacquer for about five seconds and then applying on the lip lacquer on clean, basically like clean lips. So don't apply it on with like any other lip product from what, from what I understood reading the directions. <laughs> and so I'm going to go ahead and apply on, on the center of my lips. And so far it looks like my natural lip color, to be really honest. I hope you guys can see something on after I finish applying this lip lacquer, but so far it is feeling hydrating and lightweight. All right, you guys, this is Cheeky. What do you think of Cheeky? By the way, I love the names too. These lip colors, I think they're really catchy. They grab your attention, a little sass. You know, I always appreciate a good sass moment. You know what I mean? Makes it makes it entertaining. <laughs> but this is basically it. I actually really like it. It applies on evenly. I didn't notice any patchiness or anything like that. It does take a moment for it to dry down. Right now, my lips feel a little tacky. I'm not even gonna lie. But it overall feels really lightweight. Like I don't have anything on my lips. Do we feel like it has a high shine? No, it doesn't really have a high shine. Does it have like a little sheen? Yes, it has a nice little sheen. <laughs> is it pigmented? It really is. You can definitely layer this on and not have any issues with it whatsoever. I don't feel like it hands the fine lines to my lips. It feels hydrating again, a really lightweight. So, so far so good. I really like Cheeky. I think it's a pretty everyday type of lip shade. It definitely has like, almost like a, now that I have it on, I feel like it has like more of a mauve undertone than a rosy undertone. But we'll see when I'm ending this video, maybe I'll change my mind. But right now, I feel like it's looking a little different after I apply it on. So let's move on to lip shade number two. Peachy and girl, it looks like a peachy nude lip color. It is just so pretty. Love the undertone. It kind of has like an apricot kind of feel to this lip shade. I personally really like it. Again, you guys, I'm not the best at describing lip colors, but I do 
my best girl, okay? <laughs> um, but it's a really pretty lip shade. I actually really like it. I feel like this is the perfect spring summertime lip color. It gives you a little pop of color, but in the most neutral, subtle way. And I hope I really like it. This is something I don't gravitate towards peachy lip colors. I'm trying to, you know, go out of my comfort zone lately, but it's actually really, really pretty. Again, I don't feel like it has the most high shine, but we will see. We will see maybe once I apply it on, maybe this lip color will give me the shine that the last didn't. Who knows? So I'm going to go in and apply this on, which by the way, I've already shaken it up. So I'm going to shake it again just so you guys can see that I'm shaking this lip lacquer. And then I'm going to go in and apply it on. And oh my God, it is so pretty. Absolutely love this lip shade. Let's go ahead and press our lip shade there so you can see that it transfers over really nicely and what I feel really evenly. And that is basically it. I'm gonna go over the edges to kind of clean everything up. And this is peachy and peachy again is such a pretty lip shade. I actually really like it as expected. I love the undertone that it has. I feel like this will complement many skin complexions. We literally with two applications it gave me the pigmentation that I'm looking for. Again, it takes a little bit of time for it to dry down, but overall feels really lightweight, comfortable on my lips, really pigmented. I didn't notice any patchiness or anything like that going on. So let's move on to lip shade at number three. The third lip shade is called Koi, and I would describe this lip color as a mauve kind of like purpley undertone lip color because it really does look really like purpley mauve to me. It's definitely more pigmented. It's definitely gonna give a statement for sure. I feel like, again, this is the perfect lip color to wear like during the summer or springtime, or basically any time girl that you just want to, you know, stand out for a little change. You know, you don't wanna wear a nude lip color because you feel like you always wear a nude. You wanna just change it up. This is perfect because it's just pigmented. It glided on effortlessly. No patchiness whatsoever. Again, really lightweight pigmented as well. The high shiny, you can see the high shine when you apply it on at first, but it's not giving you the high shine of like a gloss, you know, like a dripping high shine. I was expecting that for some reason, but who knows, you know, each to their own. You can always add a gloss over it once it dries down. So I'm going to go in and apply on Koi, which by the way, I've already shaken the bottle. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on my lips, pressing my lips together. Poi is actually a really pretty lip color. I love how pigmented it is, no patchiness whatsoever. I really like the oval kind of fine point that these lip colors have on the applicator just because it definitely has been coming in handy, especially since these lip colors are pretty pigmented to use it to like line my lips. So this is perfect if you don't have a lip liner that matches or any lip liners, you can essentially use this, use the Dofa applicator to line your lips and that way basically will save you some money and save you a little bit of time because that just is there already but overall I really like the lip color it's pretty love the undertone I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion and so far so good I will say the longer you live this lip lacquer on your lips or on the skin like if you're doing a swatch the longer you leave it on there the harder it becomes to remove the lip color. I noticed that more so on my lips than removing the swatches on the back of my hand, just because in certain areas, I noticed that I had a little bit left over of the lip lacquer, and I found myself tugging on those areas trying to remove the lip shade that I had on prior. So I just wanted to share that with you just to keep that in mind. So let's move on to lip shade number four. Now for Witty, I would describe this lip shade to be a more like cherry lip color a little not as pigmented and dark but definitely a mood for sure i love lip colors like this to be really honest so i'm really excited to try this on so far it's really pigmented it's literally with two swatches swatching the back of my hand it doesn't look patchy at all and i'm really excited to try this on i love lip colors like this for the fall winter time just because I feel like, you know, you can wear it. It's a mood. It's bringing in the holiday season. This is perfect if you don't want to wear like a traditional classic red bold lip. So I'm going to go ahead and finish applying this on. And as you can see, it is just really pretty. I feel like it has kind of like a neutral undertone. I'm going to go ahead and press my lips together. And as you can see, it transfers really light lightly and really evenly. I feel 
which I love. Witty, what do you guys think of Witty? I feel like she's a total mood. Love how bold it is. It applies on evenly on your lips. It transfers overs effortlessly. You can easily dilute the pigmentation if you really wanted to. Apply a light amount and then using your finger you can kind of lightly apply it throughout your lips just to dilute the pigmentation. I feel like you wouldn't have any issues just because it transfers over like when you press your lips together it transfers so nicely and evenly and lightly. I just personally really like it. I only apply on you know a good amount so you can see what it actually can look like and it's in full effect do you know what i mean so you can see what you're getting for and what you're paying for so overall i personally really like it it's a really pretty lip color especially if you're going to go on a date night or during the holiday season you just want to change things up so let's move on to our last and final lip shade called red hot girl and let me tell you it is definitely really pigmented it's gonna stand out for sure i thought this was gonna look like a classic red but in person it just looks super bright like a red hot candy <laughs> let me show you this is basically it i kind of feel like on camera it looks like it has kind of like an orangey undertone lip color like a red orange type of lip color but in person it looks more of like a traditional not a traditional red but like a bright red lip color i don't feel like this will complement my skin complexion but overall so far it's looking really pigmented i feel like you can never go wrong with a red just because you can you wear it for a date night during the holiday season i feel like even if you personally don't wear bright lip colors it's always good to have in your collection because you never know, you maybe want to change things up or you just want to be festive for a change, you know, find a way, especially if this is long lasting, this is really nice to have in your collection because you know that you can wear this at a party and it won't get all over the place and get messy. So I'm going to go ahead and go in and apply on this lip color starting the center of my lips and then working it my way through. Now this is red hot. Comment down below. What do you think of red hot? Do you personally like lip colors like this? Do you wear them often or do you just wear them like on a date night, special occasion, the holiday season? Comment down below. I would love to know. To be really honest, this one applied on a little sheer. It was a little bit more difficult to apply an even amount. I don't think people will see that like if someone is standing in front of me. I don't think it will be obvious to the eye. It's only something that I feel like I pick up because I'm looking really closely in the mirror and I'm like nitpicking and looking for something to like, you know, to analyze and mention to you guys. Yeah, but if you're wondering, girl, what happens if you do not shake the lip locker for five seconds? Basically applies on chair, okay? So you really do want to shape the lip locker for five seconds before you apply on the lip color. Love the Dove applicator. Love the scent to it again. It's not strong and overpowering. I definitely used the Dove applicator to line my lips. Feels lightweight, hydrating, but at the same time it is definitely really pigmented. Red hot again, like I had a little bit of issues with, but overall it's a really pretty lip shade. And the only downside, it doesn't really have a high shine. Like you can see you have something on your lips, but I wouldn't see like the most high shine, you know, lip color. I think the first four were my favorite from this collection and I personally love the price point and I love the fact that the lip colors really do match the packaging. It's going to be so much easier for the consumer to pick up a lip color and know what they're getting, you know, when they're buying a product. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys have a favorite lip color, comment down below. Also, let me know if you're actually going to be, you know, possibly trying out this collection, which shade was your favorite. And everything, again, will be listed down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye!